In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to convert a TREC 7-4 report form into a TREC 7-5. And of course, I'm talking about the Texas Rural State Commission version 7-4 going to 7-5. There are several ways to convert a template in Whisper to a newer format of the same template. The method used to do so uh, will depend on what the original template looks like. If it looks very similar to the templates we distribute initially on our website, then it's a very, very simple process. If you've added new chapters or new topics to your template, or in, more specifically to your report view, then it may take a few additional steps. But still, uh, it's not too bad. Uh, you know, it's a pretty fairly simple process if you know how to use the report designer. Um, in this first video, I'm going to show you the simple method, and then I'm going to show you in another video how to do it when there are customizations present. So in this case, I've just brought up Whisper. I'm sitting at the splash screen. I'm running uh, version 113E, if you look at the top up here, um, and it's asking me what I want to do. I'm going to open the last report I was working on, and my report, which is a template, uh, is called My Custom Trek 74 Template. I'm going to hit OK. I'm now in this template. You can tell I am because it's up on the toolbar up here under the report number. Uh, the first thing I do when I am looking to see the method I'm going to use is I look at the structure of this template by looking at its report view over here on the left. And in this particular case, um, this looks like a standard Trek 7.4 report view like we normally distribute on the Whisper website, okay? So if you look at this, we have a cover page, we have all the standard things that are normally in the Trek report. And if you look down, you'll see we have, you know, the chapters and the topics, and there's really nothing additional that's been added to this that I can see. Sometimes people will put inspection agreements in here, um, ADT flyer pages, and all kinds of stuff. Sometimes you'll have a WDI at the end. This one looks pretty simple. Um, they, even though it looks like the structure is still the same, uh, there, it could contain custom footers or custom headers. Uh, let's go see if, that, if that's the case. So what I do next is I bring up the print preview and I take a look at the actual report that we're looking at. All right, this has got one of our headings in it, our uh, logo I meant. If we come down, you will see that the headings are pretty standard. The footers are the way Trek normally uh, has it on their website, and we do that in our templates as well. If you come down, you can tell this is a 7.4, and the footer set, uh, states that as well. If you keep going down, you'll see the footer looks pretty simple, and that is the standard footer. It has not been customized. So this is going to be a very simple case to convert to 7.5. Uh, as a matter of fact, if you go back here to page 2 of the Trek preamble, there's an additional bulleted item down here that has to do with corrugated stainless steel tubing. That's what has to be added. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to close out of the preview window. I'm going to close out of the print window. The first thing you should always do um, before doing any kind of um, modifications like this, it's always recommended that you do a backup of your database. Uh, to do that, you click on the data manager up here at the top, fourth button over. Looks like a yellow cylinder. It says backup. Click next. And I'm going to back up my entire database. So I'll hit next. And this is going to be a full backup. I'm going to put it on my desktop for now. And it's going to have today's date on it. It's a good idea to put the current date so you'll know when you did it. I'll hit next. And I'm going to hit backup. And it's already there. I'm going to say yes. And my database for this uh, presentation here tonight is very small, so it didn't take very long. Uh, yours might take longer, depends how much data you've got in your database. All right, so I did that. I'm going to close out there. I'm back to the template. The next thing I do normally is, since I just looked at this template, and I can I tell it's just a your basic, um, the basic Trek uh, 7.4. This one does not have an invoice in it. It does not have a Texas Wood Destroyed Insect report with it. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go out and get the templates. You can do that by clicking on Help, going to the Whisper homepage. 
And that's on another window I've got here. Let me bring that back so you can see it. Okay, there it is. If you look at our home page at the bottom left corner, here are the templates for 7.5. If we click that, we can save this. I'm going to save it to my downloads folder. That's where this is going. I'm going to go ahead and minimize the browser. I'm now back to Whisper. At this point, I'm going to create a new report. Okay, the second button from the top left. When Whisper asks us what type of report we want to create, we want to leverage off of our previous template. So that way we don't have to re-implement all those changes. So if we just scroll down here, we should find our previous template. Here it is, my custom Trek 7.4 template. So I select that. Normally when you're generating reports, you're going to have a report number that's dynamically generated by Whisper down here. In this case, I'm going to override that. I'm going to go to the manual, static manual area, and I'm going to type in something that's similar to what I had before. So I'll know it's a new version of it. So in this case, it'll be my custom Trek 7-5 template. And I'm going to mark this as a template. If you have um, a version of Whisper Reporter that's probably within six months old, you'll see that you have this checkbox down here so that when you uh, generate a report manually, you can actually tell Whisper right here that it's a template. If you have an older version, you won't have that. You can always upgrade if you want. You can also uh, change this to a template in the Browse Reports window by right-clicking over the report if you don't have this feature. But in either case, um, we're going to have a new template here. I'm going to say OK. Now, if you look at the top, we are in the new template. It's called Trek 7.5. At this point in time, it's still a 7.4. And if you look to the left over here, you can easily see that this is still the other report view, the older report view. So if we went into print preview again, you would see that it's still a 7.4. We're about to change that. Since this template um, has not really been customized too much with regard to the footer, the header, uh, added new chapters or topics, it, like I said earlier, it's going to be a fairly simple process. All we have to do here is right-click our mouse, get a pop-up menu, go into the Report View Manager. Here is the report view that our current template is still using. It's a 7.4. Uh, there's also a warning up here. Now, in my case, my database is very small, so it doesn't say much about uh, any other reports that might be used. In your case, you might see lots of reports that have been used. So um, I do have five templates that are using this report view, but this is a 7.4. Don't forget that. Now, all we have to do is hit this drop down and change this report view to the 7.5. I actually downloaded the 7.5 templates, but I forgot to restore them into my database, so they're not here yet. So I skipped a step. Uh, let me close this out just for a second. Let's go to the data manager. Let's do a restore. And I'm going to hit next. I'm going to go find my templates. I should have done this first. But that's okay. It's not a big deal. Uh, if I come down here and I load my Trek 7.5 templates, I can hit OK. I go Next. And now you'll see that I've got all of these templates that I can load in from that download. Okay? All I really need for this template, since it's so simple, uh, is just the blank. All I'm going to get is the structure for it. I'm not so worried about the content as far as stuff that's inside foundations, grading and drainage, and things like that. So I'm going to select just this one. You're welcome to select all of these if you want. Uh, in order to do that, you can hold down the control key, pick and choose whatever you want, or you can click the top one and click the last one. Hold down the shift key and you'll select them all. But like I said, in my case, I'm going to select just the first one. I'm going to hit next. And now I'm about to restore that one template. It's been done. Now we're going to go back to where we were just a minute ago. I'm going to right click, go to the Report View Manager. 
like I was about to do a second ago, I'm going to click the uh, drop down, and now I have my Trek 7.5 report view that I just restored from the templates we downloaded. So all I did just now was select the new report view, okay? And after doing that, I'm going to come down and I'm going to hit this button that says use with current report. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say okay to acknowledge that's really what I want to do. And then I'm going to hit close. At that point, we're done. If you look up here at the top, again, this is the 7.5 template we created. And you might recall it was using the 7.4 report view. Now, if you look to the left, it is using a 7.5 because I just switched out the report view that gives this report template its structure. If I go to print preview now, we'll take a quick look and see what this looks like. Here's my audit report. I'm just going to say continue. Uh, my particular template has a Whisper logo at the front. I'm going to go down. Here is the first page of the Trek preamble. You'll look at the bottom. You'll see that there is a 7.5 footer now instead of a 7.4. That's what we need. And it's dated May 4th. 2015 when they voted it into law. Come down a little further. Here's the second page. And if you look closely, the last bulleted item is the CSST change that they added. And that is all that was added to 7.5. Sometimes they add other things. Sometimes they take things away. In this particular case, they just added the one additional bulleted item. And that's what the 7.5 is all about. From this point on, all you should see different is the footer on every single page should say 7.5, May 4th, 2015, which they do. Other than that, everything is identical to the way it was when I started. Any customizations you have in your template should be retained, and they should be present. Mine was kind of blank, um, but yours could actually have extra stuff in it. And that's pretty much it. So at this point, we now have our 7.5 template, and if we generate a new report from this point forward, now, you should notice, here's our old template, but for the next report I want to create, you'll notice that we should have a 7.5 in the list now. There it is. And after you've created one report with the new template, you'll notice, and now this is a real report created from the template, but you'll notice the next report you're going to do, Whisper should remember that it's a 7.5 template that we're going to use. So that's pretty much the um, approach when there's not any customizations that have been made that we really need to worry about during the conversion process. Um, look for the second video on this and that will actually cover um, where we have customizations and how I deal with that. It's also fairly straightforward. It doesn't take too many extra steps. Um, so I'll put that video together um, shortly here. Thanks for watching.